Hello, Sinners Cry. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Last time we left off working on some machines, and let's continue that. We've got the Crescent Hammer. We were working on. No. What was it? Some sort of smelter. Energized smelter. Casing, two circuits, some glass. Two glass. in some of these. And I should probably work on that before the episode's over. Power. We're gonna put that in there. Put that away. I've got two circuits. Okay. Glass, redstone. So all I need is the case. Nice. Yeah, this machine is probably going to be the first one upgrade since it's the one I seem to use the most often. <coughs> Come on. Waiting on steel. Oh yeah, we're going to make an energy cube as well. I forgot about that. There we go. Excellent. That should be everything that we need. You configure input. No output. So let's grab something. Maybe some more osmium. One more osmium. Chuck you in there. Oh. Am I out of flint? Now this should automatically output to the bottom, so I'm wondering how that will work. Off. Because if I keep on crushing this down, I should eventually get some more flint. You don't need to watch this. Wait. Sand? That can't be right. Flint. Gravel and a grindstone, rock crusher, macerator, segmental, pulverizer, centrifuge, purification chamber. Chamber? Enrichment Chamber. From Gunpounder. Flint or gas tank with oxygen. Okay. So if I get oxygen into here, that could also work. That's an idea. <coughs> I have no more flint. How are we going to do this then? There's a whole bunch of gravel. Because I thought the crusher did it. Well, let's grab a whole bunch of gravel. No. 
We're going to use oxygen. Electrolytic separator is what we need. So we need one of these, so... Three, four, five enriched alloys. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. And some gold dust. Gold, iron, osmium, osmium. Gotta turn into dust. Yeah, give me those much alloys. Gold. And come on. Iron. So gold was right, I believe, like that and that. And iron. There we go. Electrolytic core. Goes in the middle, two on the sides, and iron all around. up somehow. I would need water being pumped into it. Extra purple. Yeah. Okay, so hopefully I take this Oxygen, was that the red or the blue? <coughs> I need something to get water into this Actually, that's something I could probably make right now. Because I needed it for another quest, this one. Needed to transfer node liquid. But if I use a pearl, yeah, I can get four of those. Okay. Transfer pipe. Some stone slabs. Six. Glass. go, we got some of that. We need a pearl, two lapis, a bucket, and iron. Two lapis, pearl, bucket, iron. How's that? That. Iron. That can't be on my iron. That's all my iron, apparently. <sighs> hmm. What can I put in? Was it the Richmond Chamber? Yeah. What in the world is that? Tank controller upgrade? Now it's robots and drones, more control on how they interact with external tanks and allows them to transfer fluid into and out of fluid tank items in their inventory. Okay. On. There we go. So how much of a drain is this on power? 
Oh, decent rain. Go to sleep. See what it's like at daylight. A little bit slower. Light level increasing. There we go. Four transfer nodes for liquid. Now we need power in that. Maybe we will switch back to the other conduits, because then I could have everything in one. I really wanted to use these two. There we go. Power's filling that up. Hmm. I wonder. Need a bucket. Two buckets, actually. to get up there. Okay. Grab the buckets. One there. One there. just so I can put this on. And these. I need a world interaction upgrade though. So a bunch of more iron and four more lapis. that doesn't work. There we go. World interaction upgrade. No, there. There you go. Water's being pumped into it, oxygen in the right side. Now how do I make liquid transfer? Cable. No, this is not what I wanted. mechanism. Come on. Now here we go. Basic mechanical pipe. Capacity. Uh, here we go. Steel, steel, bucket. That would probably work in this situation. The hydrogen We'll probably have going out into a tank. Hmm. So now we have this set up, we'll actually have hydrogen for a jetpack. No, dumping excess. Okay. There we go. Power is what's missing. How are we doing on power? 
This is not keeping up. We need more power somehow. Yeah, water staying tipped off, topped off. Okay, let's look at uh, Ender Fluid Conduit. Fluid Conduit. Basic, quite clear glass. Sand, okay. Fluid flow respects gravity. Would that count as a liquid? Conduit. Furnace ash smeltery. Should make some quite clear glass. And where were those binders? Get at least this working. Why well, won't this accept input? Always active. No, it's not working. <coughs> Maybe there's like a special... Is it here? No. N ah, here we go. What is this? Advanced Logistics Basics, Ultimate Pressurized Tube, Ultimate Mechanical Pipe, Basic Pressurized Tube, Gases, Mechanism, okay, two steel, one glass. Turn this off. Oh yeah, of course. H two O, two hydrogen, one oxygen. Duh. And yeah, you can probably see the power fading in the pipes. go. Get that nice and smelted. Uh, nah, now we get steel. So we need a bucket. basic mechanical pipe. Wait, what was I looking at? Basic pressurized pipe. Oh, glass in the middle. There we go. 
I should have oxygen in now, and now we should be able to start pumping things into here. It's just good osmium to go through around. done. This one's still working. Passing it on through here. Get it nice and cooked up. Excellent. Now as we need more oxygen, this will keep it uh, filled up. But I also want another pipe to make a gas tank. Gas tank. So I need osmium, osmium around iron dust. Yeah, this machine here takes the most power, I'm guessing. Or the longest amount of time. I'm going to make a cut here while I let our power build up. So we'll be right back in a sec. Actually, yeah, that's probably why it's not building up. Because we need to sleep. So, be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I've gotten a few materials I need for these. We're going to use heat generators to get more power. And why didn't that work? Osmium ingot. Copper. That's what I'm missing. There we go. Five of these. Three, four, five. And I oh, can put the copper back. I'm not sure it can go in there. I already have this area set up here for them. Because I want to have five lava, lava touching a bunch of the sides. There we go. I think I need to put this, right, actually, this here. Because when I take this and place it, I need to have place it against the block. There's lava underneath. There we go. Now these should be making power. Excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to see. I'm going to need some quite clear glass, though. Maybe some clear glass. Oh, good. Those things didn't mix. Eight gold. Two. Oh, eventually. Oh, let's just chuck the stand in here for now. Iron first. Twenty seven, so three of these. I forgot I put iron in here. I was waiting for iron to cook up in the other thing. What a waste of iron. Come on, cook up. I really like the clear glass from this. This is probably one of the main things I'm going to keep on using this for. And the last one, I believe. Yep. Is that stun? Swap it out. And start grabbing this glass. Like this one. Wait, is this not oh, thick and glass? It looks similar. There, and a 
another bucket of lava right there. Because I want to have another one right up on top of this. Uh, grab that. Oh, I'm going to need to put the lava in the back first before I'll have room. Okay. Let me just arrange, uh, get all the glass cooking up, arrange all these, and fill this out with lava, and you'll be able to see how it looks when it's done. Basically, it's a 5x5 five five pattern, each one with having lava on the four corners around it and the one behind it. So, one sec. Okay, I'm back. There, isn't that beautiful? All that power running into my systems. I just actually used a bunch of it, getting a bunch of stuff working. Some of it going into this. Another electrolytic separator. This one I'm dumping this one and keeping this one full so it won't constantly run. I found that when it was at the other stage, which was um, dumping excess, then uh, it would just constantly run and drain power. But this way I'm going to have it stop once it's uh, done getting oxygen. This one is going to st stop when it's done full of hydrogen. But I'm going to need to get grab some osmium, some iron dust gas tank. Gas hydrogen. I put a pipe there. And this should give me all the hydrogen I need. Yes. Now I can make chip pack. Finally. I need another gas tank. Five. Stop. So that's two osmium. I need to run through here. And is it nighttime? Yes. Where'd my sleeping bag go? Ah. There we go. Just increase the power. That's done. Osmium is being processed. Excellent. I need three tin to steel. Tin. And two steel. I'm going to drain my power so bad. I didn't let any build up since I last ran a whole bunch of stuff through it, which is why I took the break. But oh well. Five. Yeah. I forgot about the second round. Oh, and I need one crushed iron. Bedrock jetpack. Huh. That sounds cool. But that's really end game rotary craft stuff. How to make the armored jetpack? I need a block of steel, some bronze, and diamond dust. That's not too bad. I could work on that. One sec. Okay, we're back. I've made all of the, all the things that we need. First, we'll make this the gas tank. Gas tank tin iron. Gas tank circuit steel tin. Jetpack. Excellent. And how do I make the armored version? So I need nine steel, two bronze, two diamond dust. Put you in there. And we're going to need a whole bunch of more iron. Nope, you're not going to do anything with that. Two, three, four, 
sacrifice. Seventeen, seventeen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, that should be enough of that. The power, once these are all filled up, should go to the other machi machines more readily. So another quick cut while I get this machine working. Okay, here we have all nine steel. Block of steel. There we go, armor jetpack. You plug it into the minus sign? No. Plus sign. It'll drain out and fill into here. I'm gonna need to leave this in here for quite a while to fully refill. But that's the end of this episode. If you like, like and subscribe. If you don't, don't. But I'll see you next episode. We're probably gonna hit up the nether, see if we can get some blaze rods. See if we can actually continue one more on with the quests. But we did, like, we made quite a few machines. We had quite a bit of progress. So, oh, and maybe an energy cube. Yeah, I should start working on this next episode. Oh well. Well, whatever I do, I'll see you next episode. Take care.